welcome back everyone my name is sagar and we are back here with another video so in this particular video we are going to analyze all the famous coding platforms so that after this video you can decide which is the best coding platform for you either you have to start your dsa journey or you have to improve your logic building or you have to even prepare for interviews so without making any further ado let's get started <laughs> So here is the list of top 6 coding platforms that we are going to analyze according to my experience with them and also with the features they are providing. And the first one is HackerRank. So this is the first website that helped me in starting my programming journey and I can guarantee this is the best website to start with. So if you are new to programming then I will just directly recommend you to start with HackerRank because it is very beginner friendly and here you can see you can just start by preparing with topics so first of all you can just see here data structure algorithm and if you want to practice some programming language suppose this is java and c c++ or python so you can just start here so i just started with java so let me just click here and you will see i just solved all the problems and it is very easy but why am i recommending this platform this is obviously not a paid promotion and the reason is because here they just focus more on writing code rather than just throwing some random problem on your face so that in your initial stages of programming you can just start by practicing your syntax so that is also a common problem in lot of beginners that they can just think of approach in their mind but uh, they just cannot write it in code so just start practicing with this platform and it will definitely help you and after that our second platform is geeks for geeks and i think in india it is one of the most famous platform for programmers obviously so honestly i am saying that it is not one of the best when we are preparing for your interviews but it can be a very helpful platform if you want to consistently improve your logic building or you have to improve your DSS skills. So recently we just completed our 200 days of POTD on this platform. POTD means problem of the day and you can just check my profile link is in the description. So here on this platform there is a very highlighting feature and that is this problem of the day. And that can be the one game changing reason for you to choose this platform. Because they just give away some goodies if you are solving their problem of the day for some number of days. And they also have some other features like their filters so you can either filter by topics you can also filter some question according to companies and uh, and they also have this limited number of curated list you can also see here love bubber sheet and uh, you can also start solving here or you can also check the according to their difficulty so i will only recommend you this platform if you are comfortable enough with programming and you can just solve any question that is randomly thrown at your face every day that means this QTD. So why am I highlighting this POTD thing because uh, this can be the one reason that motivates a beginner to just keep going. Even if you are not able to solve any problem they just show you the solution on their official YouTube channel also. And you can just learn a lot of things from this platform but uh, there is also a problem that not all the questions are properly structured. That means on this platform there are so many problems that uh, don't have enough uh, proper explanation so that can be also frustrating for you. And after that moving to our next platform that is here lead code and it is definitely the most recommended platform and there is a reason behind this because this have a lot of quality questions that means there are a lot of problems which are interesting to solve and you will definitely learn a lot from here but the downside of this platform is they have a lot of features that are paid either you can just buy the premium of this lead code or you can solve a lot of your free question which will definitely improve your logic building so I will also recommend you this platform if you want to improve your logic building and obviously if you are improving your logic building then you will be preparing for interviews also and uh, this platform also offer you some goodies if you are achieving their coins so you can just check all the things in their store right you can just see here I am using this platform for more than one year and I can definitely say it helped me a lot so if you are a beginner I will just suggest you to come here and you can just filter all the things if you want difficulty to be low and uh, and you can just practice problems according to their topics so you can just select here tags so if you want to select array question or string question then you can just do it here so after this if you are comfortable enough with programming you can also do this random question here POTD so same as GFG they also provide you here this problem of the day and you can just solve it to earn some badges and that's it so this will be a very helpful platform if you want to improve your logic building and you have to crack some interview so after this our next platform is interview bit and it is definitely worth trying so you can just come to their practice section and not only programming you can also practice your puzzles and i don't think companies are now asking for puzzle but still you can practice it and also you can practice some scripting here so first of all let me just check this 
so this is a very amazing thing you can just see here the proper structured roadmap you can just start from here from our time complexity and you can just go up to this graph so you can just practice all the questions step by step and you can see there there are all the topics are mentioned according to their level right so this is a very cool thing i think and i also solved a lot of questions on this platform you can just check my profile link is in the description so don't worry there is no prizes on this platform but i think there is a major problem on this and that is mostly all the questions are already present on lead code or gfg or even if they have some new question then that question is not worth doing because i just practiced more than 300 questions on this platform and and around 30 percent of the problems that i faced were very poorly explained and also they don't have a solution they don't have a proper explanation for the problem so that thing will be very frustrating if you are just starting with problem solving you can just try this platform if you want to follow this structured roadmap or even if you want to prepare for interviews because this platform also have very good questions as same as in lead code so definitely if you are practicing good questions then your logic building will be improved so after that our next platform is hacker earth and uh, i don't have much experience with this platform but the main highlighting feature of this platform is there are a lot of hackathons and uh, company contests going on there so you can just come to this job section and you will definitely see her hackathons that are organized by companies so you can just see here there are currently two companies that are hiring and they will be conducting their contest or their hackathons you can just see here you can select your hiring challenge university challenge hackathons and uh, there are a lot of things so you can also try this platform by yourself but uh, when i was working on this platform i just found that we have to write a lot of boilerplate code that means we have to take our user input by ourselves but uh, when you are comfortable enough with programming that you don't like doing this so then you can just move to our lead code or gfg or even interview bit but if you are a beginner and you have to start practicing then you can just definitely try this platform also and solve some practice problem here and after that moving to our next platform and that is their code studio by coding ninjas and it is also a very famous platform so it have a lot of features that uh, this will definitely attract you so first of all it have a problem of the day like our gfg and lead code and it also have a number of curated lists so you can just come to this practice and you can just see problems list so you will definitely find here most famous lists that are present out there so you can just scroll down here and you can see here is a striver list and uh, after that you can also search here so you can just come to this list by experts and you can just see here love bubble dsa sheet and fraz beginner dsa sheet and uh, there is also nishant cheher so that will be definitely very attracting thing for you and also they have their contest and uh, you can just come to this interview problems and uh, you can start just preparing for your interviews i just created my account on this platform and uh, i have not tried it by myself but i will definitely try it if i want to stick with dsa so here you can just select problems according to their topics and you can also tag by companies and also difficulty so that is the common feature every website have and one more thing i like their ui you can see here this dark mode and also this thing i just like this thing we can also suggest the edit here that is not the feature every website have so that is definitely a very interesting website and sadly they don't have any goodies for you or if they have i don't know just let me know in the comment section so after all these six platforms, we have our honorable mentions here which are not that much honorable so here are the two websites that are for competitive programmers and not for just random programmers so these are here code chef and core forces and they are for the programmers who want to play competitive with their dsa skills and not for just getting into google right so i know a lot of folks will be just mad at me because i don't like these platforms and this is not because these are bad platforms but because of the mentality of people out there these are the platforms specifically for competitive programming that means they are like a sports and people just use it to get into fan companies like they will just blindly go for becoming a three star four star five star programmer here and i don't think that is worth it you can just practice problems on lead code and you will definitely improve your logic building you don't have to be a five star on code chef if you even want to enter in google then you can just improve your logic building or you can just do development so these are the platform that you can think of trying but you can definitely enter any company if you are not a competitive programmer so competitive programming means as the name suggests there will be a contest a competition and you have to try your best in this so you will be given a list of problems and you have to solve it and if you did it well then then you will get some rank and your stars will be improved 
but this will be very demotivating if you are not performing good enough and you will just think programming is not for you anymore but uh, still you can try development that is a very cool thing so after analyzing all of these now let me just summarize and after this you can decide which is the best platform for you so if you are starting programming and you don't know anything then you can definitely start with HackerRank. it is the best recommended platform according to me so now let me just write here some text so if you are a beginner then definitely choose this and after this if you feel comfortable enough that you can just write your thoughts into code then you can definitely improve your logic building so for improving your logic building skill then you can definitely select one of them either lead code or gfg and if you are thinking that you are not consistent enough then you can definitely go for gfg this is the best recommended platform if you are if you are not consistent enough and you want to maintain your consistency in problem solving then you can definitely go for this so i will write here not consistent so if you are not consistent then definitely go for this geeks for geeks and if you want to improve your logic building after you have some basic understanding then you can definitely go to this lead code platform so i will just select here this lead code i will write here logic building then you can choose this lead code so after having enough logic building skills then you can just prepare for interviews so if you want to then you can either choose this interview bit or you can also choose hacker rank then you can just give some company contest or you can participate in hackathons so after this if you want to choose code studio then you can choose it as alternative of anything if you want to be consistent then you can choose code studio because they have their qtd and if you also want to build logic then they also have very good question and even if you want to prepare for interviews they have a dedicated list according to your famous influencer and also according to their companies so now it is up to you which platform will you decide and let us know in the comment section which is the best platform for you and i will see you in the next video